I'm Miguel Simulong, owner of San Miguel, self-made millionaire after graduating from DLS. Money management is everyone's business, as soon enough, everyone will have the need to make money in order to survive. Along with this, proper handling of money and opportunities to invest in are skills that can help in managing money. Moreover, it can help people understand the importance of money and how to save it. With mathematics, numbers presented in amounts of money and the formulas applied for money math concepts can be understood better and can be used in real life scenarios. Examples of those scenarios are starting a business and investing on banks. The related concepts on math and finance are varying in complexity. Some are easy to understand like interest, while others can be difficult to understand at first, yet easier in the long term such as stocks, loans, amortization, and credit card information. These topics really help in being aware of what happens to money in different situations. After knowing more of the concepts in consumer mathematics, managing my finances can be less confusing. Some courses of action I can take include applying for a savings account and time deposits to earn interest and investing in the stock market. After graduating college, I saw that I would be mindful of my expenses and would allow room for saving money. Also, investment on banks and the stock market are very likely measures to take maximize earnings. I would see money as treasure and not trash to just use without thinking rationally. This way, I would be able to save more essential things instead of being spendless on luxurious ones. In the last 3 to 5 years, I felt like investing on a savings account or a time deposit account. And in the stock market where I can maximize earnings without much paper, additional effort. Also in these types of investments, the money is somehow more secure and would be easier to monitor. I hereby open this press conference session. President Lord Kateri, can you explain the relevance of social choice theory acting on social problems? Social problems are very common problems in the country and the world. In solving these problems, complex understanding of the society and the people within is necessary to gather vital information and use this in formulating the most effective solution. And this is where the social theory comes in, or what you call the social choice theory. It helps in understanding the principles of the society and the reasons for the existence of certain situations plus the consequences of such. People's decision play an important role in the social problems resolution and people are the ones affected by the societal changes. President Dolph how useful is mathematics in decision making? Well, mathematics is useful in decision making as it can be used as a tool to guide yourself and provides an estimated outcome of the consequences of your decision. It allows one to make rational decisions and maximize resources when executing a decision. President Don Poterco, what are your views in learning concepts discussed in this topic? Are they easy or difficult to understand? Uh, I think the topic has a stronger resemblance on industrial engineering, especially on assignment and optimization problems. These concepts can be difficult to understand since the course Math in the Modern World is a, re is a relatively new course and students may have a hard time digesting some of the topics discussed because they have not encountered them before. Mr. President, do you believe that voting is an effective way of making group decisions and why? Voting is an effective way of making group decisions. Through voting, Everyone in the group will have the chance to choose what decision or course of action that they want to happen. But in order to come up with a single decision, we must find out what choice could win and what choice would be the best to make. Furthermore, since everyone has a single vote and their voices will be heard through their votes, this provides an equal opportunity for everyone to vote for the decision they want which makes the process effective by equal means. President, no for What is your idea of a fair voting system? 
for me, a fair voting system. It's a voting system that considers the votes of all the voters in vote. Also, it would be something that does not put unjust prioritization on other options and shows the raw number of votes, like in majority and plurality methods. Also, if the choices next to the first will be considered, the board account method is a good choice to make. Mr. President, do you believe that using mathematics is a good move in making decisions when it comes to social choice and why? Yes, I think math is a good move because it removes biases through the use of quantities or the numbers. Thus, the decisions formulated using mathematics can be more righteous, especially when it comes to social choice. Well, thank you for coming to this press conference. I hope you all a good day. Good morning, everyone. I am Kuya Jeff, and this is The Buzz. Today, we'll be having a very special guest, but unfortunately, he is not with us right now. But we have found a way to contact him through the use of FaceTime. Let's give it up to Ron Joshua Rubin. Mr. Rod, I have a few questions to ask you. What is the difference between coding theory and cryptography? Both coding theory and cryptography are for information security purposes. Coding theory ensures that the information is decodable since the information can, can be disrupted by noise or any other channel. Its main goal is to find and correct errors so that the information can be decoded by the receiver. On the other hand, cryptography focuses on encrypting the message. How relevant is mathematics in this di digital age? Mathematics is very relevant in the digital age. With the amount of advanced technologies running in the digital age, these technologies are run by complex computer softwares and programming. These types of softwares require a deep understanding of mathematics in order for the software to operate properly. What are your views in learning the concepts discussed in this topic? Are the concepts too easy or difficult to understand? The concepts are very interesting in our point of view. However, discussing with it, a visual guide will help us further understand the concepts as visualizing the concept will be easier for both the teacher and student than to just explain it through word of mouth. Mr. Ron, why is there a need to invent codes? It makes the process of sending information more efficient. And also, what is there to consider in constructing a code? It must be short and decoded by the receiver. It must also be able to detect errors in their information and correct it. Uh, what is your understanding of the process of sending messages through noisy channels? Sending messages through noisy channels may be challenging because of the hindrances of sending a clear and accurate message. How do you find the lessons under this topic? Are they easy or difficult to understand? I find the lessons quite easy to understand even if the concepts are sometimes complex. Why is the field of mathematics called coding theory important in the real world? It provides information on the nature of sending messages in channels that may be inconsistent at times. Mr. Ron, why is there a need to encrypt messages? How is this different from decrypting messages? Encrypting messages will protect the information confidentiality in case the information is acquired by someone not intended to. Encrypting messages is done by the sender of the message while decrypting is done by the receiver of the message. What is there to consider in constructing a crypto system which is better, symmetric or asymmetric crypto system? In constructing a crypto system, we need to consider securing our communications from eavesdroppers who would misuse our information or data. Either of the crypto system are better depending on the context 
or situation. Symmetric crypto system is faster but needs a single key to be shared. But asymmetric crypto system has a private key and a public key that can be easily shared. However, it would take a relatively longer time than symmetric encryption. Mr. Ron, will you consider sending your secret message to the friend using the ideas of cryptography? How do you propose to do so? No. How do you find the lessons under this topic? Are they easy or difficult to understand? The lessons under this topic were very interesting. Lessons became harder when different cipher algorithms were discussed. Why is the field of mathematics called cryptography important in the real world? In the real world, there are secrets that need to be kept, which is true, even back in the early days. The purpose of cryptography in the world is to secure communication to keep others from getting your information or data. This makes cryptography significant as a tool to keep your information secure from others. And that is all, Mr. Rod. Thank you very much. Why is mathematics considered as a tool in solving problems efficiently? As the old saying goes, numbers don't lie. With mathematics, we are able to find out the best or most efficient solution by using algorithms, leading us to the best solution out of all possible solutions. How can you apply the concepts you have learned in this topic to your field? In engineering, we can apply the concept of linear programming and transportation problem to optimize and maximize our solution in different types of problems. What are your views in learning the concepts discussed in this topic? Are these concepts too easy or too difficult to understand? The concepts discussed are very useful in the real world as it is relevant and applicable to many of the current problems today. The concepts are simple to understand if you just follow the steps of the process. What does it mean when you say that a method is efficient? A method is efficient if it achieves the best possible result while using minimum resources and effort. Give an example of a real-life situation that can be considered as a maximization or a minimization problem. Can you describe how this linear programming can help you solve the problem? Let's say that you have a fixed budget to buy items and you need at least a certain amount. You could use the linear programming to maximize or minimize the use of your budget. What is your understanding of the shortest path problem? Of the transportation problem? Of the assignment problem? The shortest path problems show the shortest possible route towards the destination according to the variable of choice. Next, transportation problems are solved to have the most efficient and cheapest way of transporting products and other materials. Lastly, assignment problems need to have the most effective distribution of work in terms of preferences, cost, etc. You're Rod, the mathematician, right? Ah, yes. I have a few questions to ask. What is all about? Uh, what is the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio? Uh, Fibonacci sequence is a sequence wherein two consecutive numbers, when added up, results to the number next to them. While uh, the golden ratio is roughly around 1.6. Uh, these are related to nature and arts because these are proportions that are used by artists and even seen and observed in the nature itself. What are fractals? Fractals are geometric shapes or figures that have self-similarity or have intrinsic repetition. The study of fractals, uh, I think, contributes to reducing the size of things like uh, images or files and even antennas. 
So, for example, in images or files, fractals are used to reduce its size to consume less space. Well, in antennas, it, it helps in reducing its size so that it will consume much less physical space too and while still uh, functioning like the original one. What is, how is mathematics involved in the design of creative works? Mathematics is involved in identifying dimensions and use of mathematical concepts to determine other aspects of the design. It is also involved in proportion of things and the beauty of symmetry. Do you say that mathematics can be seen in the nature? Do you agree? Yes, I believe so. Where we see art, there is mathematics. Like, if you look around us, there's always math in nature. And there's, there's even art in nature. Um, Fibonacci sequence, fractals, and the golden ratio have applications of math in the structure of things found all around us in nature and in artworks. Which applications of fractal geometry do you see the most important and why? I see its application on reduction of size of physical and even virtual things is very important because as the world ages and more technology are being discovered, uh, this contribute to having more efficient, more efficient uh, products and inventions for the future. In this lesson, what have you learned about Fibonacci numbers and the golden ratio? And why do they say that these numbers are associated with the concept of beauty in nature? Beauty is actually related to symmetry and proportion. It just happens that the proportions that are being sought after is actually the golden ratio. We can see golden ratio in artworks of the recent times and they assume and see it as beauty itself. The Fibonacci sequence, on the other hand, which also follows the golden ratio, is also being used in nature. We can see it in the number of petals or even the number of leaves of plants. And the branches have uh, the fractal properties in them. What are your views in learning concepts discussed in the topic? Were they easy or difficult to understand? These lessons are interesting even if they seem complex at first because it is about patterns in nature and arts that would have not been noticed if they were not analyzed thoroughly. Also, they are uh, uh, captivating to the eyes so even the learners could uh, be able to uh, help themselves learn better through imaging and visualization. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you as well.